What is going on guys, Sweet Gaming here and welcome back to the channel. Before I get started in today's video, thank you all so much for 200 subscribers. That is a big achievement for me and it's awesome to have so many of you interested in my videos. It means a lot to me so thank you. If you are new today, I hope you consider joining us in our journey across the galaxy together. Now in today's video, I will be showing you all my first base I built in No Man's Sky and I will go ahead and tell you a few things about it other than I've been wanting to show you guys this for a long time. <laughs> this base is purely built out of mostly old parts from Atlas Rises update because when the update next first came out, people with legacy saves, or at least me, did not get the blueprint analyzer. Not only did I not learn new base building parts, I also didn't know the blueprint for a large refiner. And so this base took some time to build for sure because it also was not in creative mode, I'm in normal mode, so thousands and thousands of ferrite dust that I had to put into refiners, and I had to put them through three or four portable refiners as well, so. This base has a lot of resources and time put into it. It's not a huge base, it doesn't stretch over a large area, but it is a good size. The storms on this planet before the recent updates 1.55 and up I believe, were so insane I could just barely be outside. So I created all my exocrafts, not only just because it's cool and nice to have them, but I actually kind of needed them. So there's a quite, there was, okay, there was quite a bit of bugs at the beginning with my freighter warping out of my system, technology upgrades for my suit, and just my saves crashing and stuff like that. Um, you know, I would build and save, build and save, and it would just come back or whatever. So I was kind of scared to do anything else other than base build on a planet. So I stayed put. I started building on the first paradise planet I found. And this is a very nice planet. I do like it. And since you can build so many bases on so many planets now, I'm just not quite as picky anymore. And I was kind of scared to leave. <laughs> so I think that's enough of an intro to, the, to this base. And so let's get started with the tour. So I've got this nice little orange planet here, and uh, it's got lots of really, really cool features. I love the, the um, plants, of course, but the uh, fauna is really cool. The There's like a little T-Rex guy over here. One of them looks kind of weird, but then one of them, kinda, yeah, see, this guy looks kind of weird. But this guy's awesome. I love this guy. Sorry, my allergies are so bad, guys, it's not even funny, so if I sniffle, sorry. But yeah, this guy, he is so cool. I love this guy. He is a good, good, good pet. You know? Alright, alright. Back to the base. Okay, so this is the exterior part of the base. Looks pretty nice. I like it a lot. Um, let's just do a little bit of a run around before we get started on the inside, the interior. This is my hangar on the outside where I have all of my exocrafts stored. Got my Colossus there. Got my Roamer here. And I really like these uh, um, structures that are kind of meant for cubic um, supports for cubic rooms. But it's actually kind of kind of creates a nice little hangar because even though you can see through them, it does keep you safe out of storms. So anyway, so I've got those. And there's my Nomad. And so yeah, now let's just go ahead and go here, I've got a ladder coming up to the top of the building, and this just kind of helps navigate through, um, basically just the top of the building to get to my ship or get to the back to the front of the um, base safely, and to be quite honest, this is kind of pointless to have now, because I built this to stay inside when the storms were so bad before 1.55 and up. I seriously could not be outside for more than a couple minutes. So I was always trying to stay safe and out of the storms. So this leads us back to the hangars going this way and to the ship. If we go this way and back around this leads us to the side where there is an entrance right below me right there or you can go here 
and it drops you li literally right at the front door. So, anyway, let's just go ahead and go into the front since we're here. I've got quite a bit of storage containers that you can get some items from, which is nice, you know, for people that are coming by that uh, don't have a base yet. It's just nice because you can get some pretty rare materials out of this, although most of the time you get microprocessors or daggers, things like that. They're all useful items, so I built a lot of them. <laughs> and then we've got our uh, nitrogen system here going on. All right. Nice little save. Oh my gosh, bro. You cut cutting me off. This is one thing about the the base building. It's not that big of a deal, but sometimes animals can even get trapped inside, especially in my garage um, area. They get stuck behind my exocrafts and stuff sometimes, but anyway. All right, this is the inside. This is kind of like the foyer, I guess you could say, main room. Lots more of these containers. And a little bit of a design. And then we've got our galactic uh, trade system here. So you can sell things and store things. Uh, not store things, uh, sell things and buy things. So that's nice. And although um, I've been watching other people's streams and all that kind of stuff when Next came out, I know that carbon is a very important part of building the new base building uh, parts, materials, so I built a lot of carbon plants just so that whenever the update would drop where I could learn the new blueprints for the carbon uh, built stuff like wood and concrete, all that kind of stuff, that I would have plenty of carbon available for me. Plus, carbon is what it takes to um, fuel your refiners, and I had to do so much refining, so that was kind of necessary to have all these. So we have a second floor with more carbon plants and a little bit more storage right here. I had a refiner there. I had a refiner there. 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 And then there. <laughs> so now I just have one since I've finished this base. So let's keep moving on. We've got our first aid. We've also got... Uh, you know, shield and health, all that kind of stuff. So here we are. We've got... Man, this is this is cool. I like this place a lot. Um, I like the lights up top as well. But we have lots of trays. It's not much of a farm like a circuit board farm or like a specific farm because all I really do now is I have the blueprint for cryo pumps I guess is how you say that and where is it yeah right here the cryo pumps and they're worth um, 1 million five hundred a piece and so <laughs> it's kind of easy to make money that way now because I just build those a lot and I have 1.2 billion basically in units so I kind of really don't need a base for a specific type I will be doing some on different planets, but this one j is just generally just to have lots of different types of resources. I've got uh, fungal mold, I've got the selenium right here, I've put gamma root, I've got more diet over here, a little bit of star bulb, and just some random things. So I just planted some stuff. Finally, I've got the blueprint analyzer, which is nice. So I th that's here now, and I'm learning some more uh, base building stuff. So I'm having to salvage some modules and stuff like that and get some of those kind of things going so I can start building some different type of bases, which I've already started some, but uh, that'll be a little bit later down the road. So this is just the big, biggest room in the whole entire building. This right here, this little hole, leads up to the starship as well. So right here, there's the door, some glass to look outside. And there's my starship. So there's quite a few different ways to get around the base. I do that with most of my bases. I like having three or four different entrances and a little bit of a pathway to different parts of the building. Kind of like a maze type thing. I don't know. And here we've got this, which can take us anywhere in the galaxy um, that we have visited so far. Any system, 
and to basically shuffle through your bases and just travel anywhere you uh, kind of wish that you've been to so far. So, which is really cool, and I like the way it looks. It's really, really cool having that portal there. A portable portal. <laughs> well, it's not necessarily portable, but being able to place one at your base is so nice. So, anyway, this right here basically lets you collect from your old base, which I don't have anything in it. I had a little bit of uh, chromatic metal in there, but that's pretty much it, because I hadn't built yet, so... Here is that entrance that was right below that part of the maze. And it's just another little place to be outside of the weather. I put these numbers around everywhere on the base, which basically just signifies that it's just my first base. And I want to number them all that uh, kind of keep them organized in a way because I, I feel like I'm going to build a lot, <laughs> which is good. And I'm excited to build more. But... Uh, yeah, I think that's all of the base. Let's see. I was going to do some stairs going up, but to be honest, jet jetpacking around is what I do anyway, even if there is stairs. Sometimes I still just jetpack around, so so yeah. Give you guys a little bit of a exterior look. Yeah, this planet is is cool. I really like the rings. It's just really nice. I'm glad the storms aren't quite as frequent, but I don't know. It was kind of cool. I was kind of hoping that uh, this was just a very stormy planet. Storms are much more fun to to witness now as well. They're very annoying in 1.3, but now they're just really kind of cool to be a part of. You very you feel like you're in a in a movie, like a sci-fi movie. But I'm not sure what this guy's doing. But, yeah, that's the base, guys. Let's take another stroll around. Oh, yeah, I've got all of, uh, all. I don't have all of my storage units, but I have a good few storage units there. Store some items and things like that. It looks really nice at night as well. But, yeah. And there's the stairs going back up to the uh, starship entrance. So yeah, I think my favorite part is the hangar. I really like the way that they look because these cuboid rooms with the with the piping and wiring going through the top and I don't know, it just it just looks re really garage like. It, it's just cool. I like it. The Colossus is such a cool looking Exocraft too. I really like the Exocrafts, all of them, but and I like that they increase the speed of the Colossus. I believe it's a little bit better than it used to be, but but yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much going to wrap up the tour. What do you guys think about this planet? What do you guys think about the base? I will be posting some portal coordinates to some of my bases um, in the future, maybe doing some where we could build some together, but some of these I want to keep to myself and uh, just have as a planet that I'm not worried that you know, there's always that one guy that'll come over and build over your base or, you know, do something like that. I'm not saying you guys would, but, you know, there's people out there that do that kind of stuff. So, anyways, guys, just let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If there is any type of base you'd like me to do, I know I'm going to do a cave base and an underwater base soon, so stay tuned for that. But, guys, just let me know if there's any other ideas that you have. Oh, my gosh, bro. He likes me. Or he's trying to kill me. I mean, it's, one, it's one or the other. <laughs> but anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. Like I said, just comment down below if there's anything you'd like to see in the future. And I would love to build uh, some custom places that we all can join up and meet up. My gamer tag is jsweet011. If you guys ever want to play, I'm on PlayStation 4. Unfortunately, I'm not on Pro. But <laughs> nonetheless, I can still play. So, guys, just let me know. I will see you guys on the next video. I'm not going